for the next three projects, we're not going to need none of this. And if I forgot something, we're not going to need it either. In this one, we are going to use nothing but what you see here. These pins are the oldest ones that I can find that I have. An old ruler. Of course, it's not wooden. I looked for one, couldn't find one. Pencils. A pair of just uh, scissors. You know, the regular kind of scissors. And then uh, some kind of cardboard. Alright, this is what we're going to use on our next couple projects. So let's get started. Alright, we're back after another one. And this time, I'll hopefully we can get completely done with this quilt. I am down here at the end, the last one. And I'm going to take my pen out. And I'm going to sew it down to the next pin. Alright, now I'm going to take this pin out. Now I'm going to pull it a little bit. We got a little bit of a, a hangover. We're going to want to lay it down. And we're going to want to go to it like we would any other one. Alright, now we're going to stop where we need to stop. And if you noticed, I have some that is over. <clears throat> I don't need it. Alright, let's see if I can put you right here. And I can play with it and not knock you off. So I'm going to pick this up. And I'm going to turn my quilt. <clears throat> now I'm going to take this one and pull it like this, like I did the other one. Alright. Let's see. Let's see if we can put you right here. Got all kinds of craziness going on. And you can see it. Now i got pins. I don't know what to do with Alright, now I'm going to take this pin and pull that down. Take this pin out. <clears throat> now I'm going to sew part of the way down just so I will have my uh, this part sewed down and stay stationary. Alright, now I'm going to take this one out. And now we have the end here where we had all that good stuff going on. Alright, now I'm going to take this one. <clears throat> I need some more quilt over here. And I'm going to take this one. Now, I can cut this off, which I think I'm going to. So I don't have that much of a bulk. Cut it off a little bit. I want to make sure that this side right here covers this. I don't want it like that. I don't know if you can see what I'm saying or not. See here where I got this last here. I don't want that. All right, now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to lay it down inside this one. Can you see? I have most indefinitely covered that. So this is what we're going to want to cover here. I had put it the other way. You understood it better. So I'm not going to want it like that. We're going to want it to cover this one right here to cover this one. Okay, there. Maybe, maybe that's better. Yeah, I think so. Uh, no, let's see if we can't line it all up. Now, it's not going to matter as long as this one right here gets, the very last one gets used. And now we're going to go on and we're going to sew it down. Wish that I wished it would go, but it's not wanting to go. See, it just it don't want to go, and I know I got it on faster than that. This is my slow. See, it don't want to go at all. So I'm gonna put it back up there, and get it through. And it's just going to stay right there. Alright, back stitch. I broke my stitch. Alright, I'm not going to worry about it as long as it goes through. <sighs> yeah, it got it. So I'm not going to worry about it. 
All right. So, now then, what we're going to do is, it don't matter where you start with, we're going to turn the quilt over, and we are going to start putting, or, yeah, putting this right here on it. I'm not going to worry about the fiber feel or any of that unless it sticks completely out, which I don't think it will. And I'm going to put it level. Oh, I'm not Hercules. All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to put it in here. Now I'm going to try to keep it just as close to the edge as I possibly can right here. And that's going to have to be uh, looked Get in there. <sighs> All right. So here we go with that one. Oh, come on. Hit the wrong button. Line it up straight. It don't matter if it's perfect or not. There's nothing wrong with the sewing machine. It's the way that this is going. So I'm going to tell you all that now. There ain't nothing wrong with the sewing machine. <clears throat> And we'll make sure this right here is pretty well much straight. Alright, I'm going to get right up here. Now you see I have it folded. Right here. And I have it folded down. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get close to it. Alright, I'm closer. I am not understanding it. Okay. All right. Now, now most people they want to take it and go like this. Now, when you do that, and all, you don't get a good accuracy. But now, <clears throat> if you go the other way and lay this one down and this one on top, you're going to get a better accuracy with it. Let me get it sewed down. I don't like it. It's not doing right. I can't get it to do right now. I don't know why. Alright. I don't... Don't, don't, don't like it. Alright. <clears throat> the uh, walking foot is a whole lot better right now at this time. Because apparently it does not want to sew right. And I don't have any bulk down holding down here so I don't know what it is and I don't know why it just wants to sit there <clears throat> all right I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna put my walking foot on okay you'll see you'll have trouble with it <clears throat> but you can still do it it's it won't hurt it <clears throat> it won't hurt it but after time after time after time it will so like I said when I first got a walking foot I said oh so your Cadillac and buy you one all right now we're gonna go reverse on this now hopefully I don't have any problems with it and I'm gonna lay this straight uh, I've still got uh, okay I'll, I'll show you this yeah, let's do it this way. I'm gonna wear a stand over. See how it goes down. We got more weight here than we do up here. And what's gonna take over the weight, not the machine. The weight will. So that is a big problem. That's why when you do these, you should sit down and do them. <clears throat> so you will have the weight on your lap, not on the machine. Right. I've got to be able to get to it. 
You see, it wants to stay. And you see, when you have the machine <coughs> doing it, it will slowly go, but for some reason, it, I got to get to this damn thing. I can't, I can't do this. It's not going to work. All right, let's continue on. So if it does not go, I'm going to have to bring it. And you don't pull it. You let it go on its own. And you just more or less guide it. Alright, now that we're at a corner, I'm going to want to cut the corner off. It's good to see you sitting together and not fighting. Yeah. Right, here we go. Now, if we want to have any fiber spill show, we want to cut it off. Don't cut into your material because you may cut it wrong. Here we go with the corner again. We're going to lay this one in. I mean, no, this one down and this one over. And it will give you a better corner. <clears throat> Alright, All right, I'm going to finish getting this right here done and then we'll be back. Okay, your mis my mistakes are your learning. Because you're going to make mistakes too. Let's see, what is this? Okay. So, right here, I missed it. It's not right. Alright. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. I'm going to turn it back around. And I'm going to pull this down this way. I'm going to get as close to that one as I can get it. And then I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to sew it down. Back down to out there. So well, here we are. We have got it sewn back down. Now let's turn it. <clears throat> and let's make sure that it is all the way down. And it is. You don't want to go over really a, a whole lot. You just a little bit. All right. So now let's get back to this one. Uh, I'm going to put it back right here where I was sewing it. I'm going to reverse it back. It don't want to go. I don't understand why it's not wanting to go right now. Because I got my walking foot on. All right. Now, if you look... Right here, I have some fiber fill showing, and we're going to cut that down and get rid of it. All right, there's more. Gotta cut my corner. Gotta do that. That's bulker. Get rid of that bulk. Alright, we'll be back. Alright, I don't know what's going on. Like, I have to touch it like 20 times for it to go to the cord. Alright, I'm on the very last of it. And I'm going to. Now, I got a mistake in here. And I'm going to fix it when I get done. I'm telling you ahead of time. So I can show you how to fix that mistake. Alright, now I'm down here at the end. We're going to backlash it. 
And then I'm gonna cut these strings. Got a hundred of them. All right, now got a bunch of crap here. Let's get rid of it. We don't want it. All right. Good thing to cut all your strings. I hate strings. I really do. It's like I can't never get them. Find them all. They're always here. Always in the way. All right, now let me turn this around this way. I'm gonna show you my mistake. <clears throat> right here. <clears throat> if you can see that right there. Okay. Right here, you ha we have a. We did not get sewed down. It's not no big deal. We're going to do it by hand. So I have a piece of thread. And we're going to sew it down. You're not really, don't matter how you want to do it. Alright. Let's see if you can see right here. Yeah. Alright. So I'm going to take my needle, the first thing, and I'm going to put it down inside this to hold my, my knot in there. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to go up a little bit and I'm going to do it like that right there. Put it in there and then I'm going to come over here in the fold and I'm going to do that again to hide my stitches. Okay. Lay it down. Pull that through. Oh, come on. Why are you doing this? I'm tired and it knows it. Alright. Let's go in this one. Boy, it's like my needle is rusted as all get out. Oh, there is a rust spot on it. So I can throw this needle away when I get done. And I'm going to get it done first. All right. Now we're going to make sure we fold this one down inside of it. There we go. They didn't cheat. No, I, I mean, I lost the game. They didn't cheat. That's why I let it go. <laughs> oh. It just, it was a fight. And uh, we, I tied it up to take it to overtime. But then they won the toss and scored on overtime. So they won. Oh. Oh, come on. This needle net does need to be thrown away. It is not wanting to. Three and one. They're four and eight. Well, at least you can sew with a needle that ain't no good. And it most definitely does not want to go. That's for sure. Now, you want to try to go back just a little bit past where your, your, not, uh, your hole is. So as you can make sure you get a good ending to it. All right, right there is good to me. Now, let's see if we can't tie this bad baby off and get rid of this needle. Because this needle is no good. All right, now I'm going to take it and I'm going to slide it down. Boy, I can feel that rust in it. I wonder, I don't know. All right, now. Um... All right. Let me be back in a minute. This day. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that needle. I have just a regular medicine bottle here. Oh, you can use a any kind of can to put your needles in. You don't really want to throw them down in the garbage can because somebody might get hurt with it. So therefore, we got rid of that. I'm going to put that where I can find it again. 
I'm telling you what, all these threads, I thought I went through and got threads. No. All right, now. Like I said, oh my goodness, here, I'm going to get these straight. I'm getting threads. I can't help it. Alright, now, like I said, let's see here, look at this. I thought I went through and got thread. Cut thread, my goodness. What happened? Oh, I bet you anything, something got my attention and I forgot. Had to bound to be. Okay, so, anyway. Now, like I said, right here, everybody. we did not do these, and I'm like, okay, this is good another lesson. I wanted to do these. Now, you can still do them. You can. Now, I want you to also look at my, right there, I have a piece of uh, material, and we're going to sew this down. So see, I did not do any harm to my sewing machine. Alright. Yep, I have to do that because people go, Oh my God, you've got to kill your sewing machine. No, I'm not. I love my sewing machine. Well, if I get rid of my sewing machine, break my sewing machine, and I'll, can I sew anymore? No. Will somebody else give me a sewing machine? I have no idea. But do I want to take that chance? No. Alright. Now. Let me put you back over here so I can have the room right here. And, yeah, there's some of you guys out there. I don't mean to be mean, but you, for some reason you all don't pay it. Somebody does not pay attention to my words that I use. I'm going to start in the middle of my quilt, and I'm going to go backwards. And I'm going to get to the close to the edge Without going into the white, but I'm staying in the brown, and I'm not right on the edge. And this is just the way that I have decided that I wanted to do this. Here it is more down that way. I'm not sliding. It needs to slide. Alright, now I'm coming up right on the edge of this one. Yeah, you can see it. Now, right here is where my uh, first one is. So, you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go on down. I don't know, I'm going to go like two stitches past it. Can you see it right here? It is, and I'm about two or three stitches past it. It don't have to be perfect. We are not looking for perfect. We're looking for uh, putting it together. That's all we really want to do is put it together. And I have, oh my gosh, I am out of uh, bobbin. Alrighty, I got that one gone. So, now let's go on with another problem. <laughs> We'll start backwards, and then we're going to go on forward. Alright, see, it's just sitting still now. We got too much. No, we got a left there. There's a lump there. right here I'm gonna go like three over three over there and now I'm gonna turn my quilt
like that. And then I'm going to go on down. Alright, I'm going to get you out of my way. It's not that easy to sew it down. Alright, we'll be back. Alright, <clears throat> I am down on my last one. Oh, pressure. I got it on mine. Alright, now I'm just going to reverse it back. And I'm done. And the reason why I kind of put it on high is so it's easier to go on my machine because for some reason it don't want to go because it's just way too much down here. It's For some reason it's catching on this and it's not wanting to let it slide and it's, that's why it stops over here. So I have to... It's kind of hard to pay attention to what's going on if you're on camera than it is when you're not on camera. Alright, now, let's see if we can. I think I'm going to quit right there. Now, you can do this other one. Let's go ahead and do it. If I, I'll have to do it off of camera, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. Because it, it's just not, uh, not going right. What happened here? Oh man, I am not halfway on this one. I've done that before. I think I'm done or not. There we go. Now I'll be done with it here. <laughs> There. Now I ain't got to worry about it. It's done. Can't believe I did that, right? What'd you do? I thought I was done with it and I'm not. Oh. It's crazy. I, for some reason, this right here table does not let it slide. And that and it makes it harder. It don't want them to go right. here. Alright. It's a fight. Yes, it's a fight. It's... Alright, now we have two different sides. We can do one or the other. Ooh, can you see my stitch here? It goes way up and then back down. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a white one this time. Or I'm going to do stitch in a ditch. There we go. I'll do that. So, stitch in a ditch. Ain't nothing where you just go down where you sew. That's all. Oh, gotta go on. Don't do that, Sandy. Don't do that. Go on down. And it don't have to be perfect either. None of it has to be perfect. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna get this done and then I'll show you what it looks like when we get done. Alright, here we are with the back of it, and I think it looks pretty good all the way around. You see, you could put your border on, or sew your, those borders down after you're done if you want to, but really, to truthfully, it's better to put them on before, but I wanted to show that it could be done, and I think I did pretty good. I'm happy with it. Alright, let's see if I can't turn it around. Alrighty, here we go. You can see that, see the window. But, here it is. We are completely done. Now you can put a uh, patch on the back of it. Or even write your name on the back of it. To prove that you did it. Alright, now let's do that. Alright, we're going to take a permanent marker. Now, I don't like to put mine right here because we have the, the border right here. And we don't going to want to do that. So, I come up here in the neck and the block and do it in the block. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I could put the name of the quilt, which is Beginner. And you got to watch because you have to be in layers. It's not going to work too good. Uh, 
chair. So I put beginner quilt. Now I have the date, and it is eleven twenty-five. Eleven twenty-five, twenty twenty. Now this is good enough. But now, if you want to put your name on it, it's always best to put your name first or after the quilt name. And since I did this and I did not give myself room, I'm going to put it up here at the beginning. So I'm going to put poor man sewing. Alright, so there we go. Now, well, let's see what size we have here. And so we'll know what size it is. Because we like doing that. We're crazy that way. Okay. I sent her this picture. And then put, see, they're getting along now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's, get this back. I don't want to move on this. Right here, we've got 22, and this is 33 and a half. So I'm going to put 33 and a half by. Alright, Rick, come here and help me real quick, will you? Yeah. This right here does not want to work the way I need it to. Uh -huh. Alright. There it is on the... Alright. And now we have... I'll get my fingers on it. 48. That's good, thank you. Okay. So we're 33 and a half by 48. You just drop it. Okay. That ain't gonna hurt a thing. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. All right, so now. Well, where'd you come in here, Mother? He's been in. He's been hiding, baby. Yeah, he's been hiding. I guess he's afraid of uh, somebody may touch him. You know how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to call it quits here. And um, I, tomorrow, I think I'm going to try... Or the next video. I don't know when I'm going to do it. But I think I'm going to try to make a pocketbook from the beginning to the end. That gum at these strings. That's something I hate. But you got to remember to go through and cut your strings. I believe I probably got a bound to have them. Because I've been cutting them all along. There's one. Alright, we'll see you later. What what did you find? What you you found some strips? Did Grandma hide them for you? Yes, Grandma had them. She hid the strips from you. Now you found them. All right. You like them strips? Uh huh. Are you sewing? Are you sewing? Yeah, her sewing, Papa. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> hey. hey. All right, say bye-bye.